Hello folks, Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing great this morning. You know, God is so good to us in so many ways. We can just spend a lot of time just simply counting the blessings. As I've said to you many times, I know that we all have a list of things in our minds that we would like to see done that maybe are a ways off or maybe they're very nigh. I don't know. But one thing for sure is that we have a lot to thank God for. Even on the worst days, we have a lot to thank our, our Savior for and how good God has been to us. You know, the Bible says that Jesus Christ, when he died on the cross, he said in John 19, verse 30, it is finished. And that's a great, great statement because it means paid in full. And it's a wonderful thing to know that Jesus Christ paid the sin debt. You know, sometimes we still suffer for sin. Now listen to me. After we've already been forgiven. You have done something in your life. It haunts you. It stays in your mind. You can't live a day sometimes without it coming back. And it could be 10, 20 years back. Could be more than that. But it comes to your mind all the time. I understand the fact of responsibility of sin. And I believe it's important that we do remember our past transgressions, that we may not have future transgressions in those areas. But I do believe it's also important to live free in Jesus Christ. You see, the Savior died to set us free, not only just to save us for eternal life, but He died to give us victory while we live here on earth. I'm talking to a lot of people right now that you're not effective for God because of the past mistakes that you have made, the failures in your mind that you'll never get over. Well, listen, if you ask Jesus to forgive you and you are sincere and you turn from your sin, the Bible says he will forgive you. And there's no greater power than the Lord Jesus Christ. And if he forgives you, then you and I don't have a right to hold it over our own heads. Now, we ought not to forget it because it makes us aware of things when the, we get into it in the future. We, we say, whoa, wait a minute, I, I, I recognize this. I, I suffered about this before. I'm not going to do it anymore. Well, that's just a good life lesson. But it doesn't mean that it should hold you down. It should not grab you and possess you and put you in bondage. Galatians 5.1 says, Stand fast, therefore, with the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Christ has come to set us free. And my friend, listen, you are carrying burdens around that Jesus Christ already forgave you of, already set you free from, and you are carrying those burdens around becoming non-effective for Jesus Christ. I mean, it's like Jesus didn't die. It's like he didn't resurrect. It's like there's no power in your life if you do not accept his forgiveness, his mercy, his grace. You say, hold on, Brother Rocky. Others won't let me forget. Well, that's very true. I mean, I understand that with all my heart. When you have problems with people and you have problems in life, uh, many, many, many times they will never let you forget. But we're not talking about them. Is not the Lord Jesus Christ's resurrection more powerful than they are? Is not the power and the love and the mercy and the grace of God that reach further down than you could reach up not greater than they are? I understand it's irritating. I understand it's aggravating to have to deal with it. But anytime you get in that situation and somebody becomes, well, let me just, let me just be frank about it. May I? When somebody becomes a jerk about it and they, and they keep trying to rattle your chain, and, and make you feel bad and beat you down because you made a mistake or two in life, you just be reminded of where you were without God and how good God has been to you and how God has raised you up. You see, there's reasons to rejoice. That's a choice to rejoice. We ought to do it. If I can let, by the way, if somebody keeps beating you down with that, they're not right with God anyway. Because the Bible says that we as Christians are supposed to forgive and forget and turn away and restore people back to their original position. So don't, don't allow yourself to be drugged through the mud time and time again with some old backslidden, mossy back, stiff-necked heathen. Say amen, somebody. I mean, you need to stand strong. God has delivered you. He has forgiven you. He has set your feet on a solid rock. Let's move. Let's get something done for Jesus. Let's make a difference. Say amen right there. We have got to be proactive because Jesus paid a price. He paid a price for us. 
We are worthy of his love and mercy by what he did for us on the cross. We've acknowledged our sin. We've come before the Savior. Now let's live in freedom. You say, well, I still think about it from time to time. Well, I do too. I think about my sins most all the time. But I use those sins and those failures as stepping stones, not as stumbling blocks. You have a job to do, friend. I have a job to do. Let's do it looking at the cross, not at the problems that Jesus has forgiven us of. He overcame so you could overcome. God bless you. We love you. Rock on and goodbye.